Hi Aries, how are you guys? I hope that you're all doing well. Just know that I send you much love and light. And I'm back. This is your love reading for June. I can't believe it's June already. So I'm so excited to take a look and see what is coming in for your love lives. But before I do, if you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and this is Crash Your Heart Tarot. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Aries, if you hear some background noise, I'm sorry. It's it's so noisy where I live, so I never know what's going to go on in the background of the video. So, you know, you might hear like some traffic out there or people from time to time. All right, so I do apologize. And that ends, Aries. So I'm just going to jump right into your reading. But before I do, I just want to take a minute to go on spirit. let's take a look and see what is coming in for your love life in June. Lots of pentacles here. So I see the energy of something coming along a lot faster than it has been. I can see where some of you feel like you've put in a lot of work, a lot of dedication into a connection, waiting for it to kind of go in the direction that you wanted it to go. And what I can see here is things are gonna progress a lot faster than they have been. The overall energy that's here though is I mean, really overthinking things to the point of worrying about things. So I hope that you guys can take some comfort in knowing that things are certainly moving forward and in the right direction. But I can see this energy of where someone might let their head get the best of them. You know, thinking about things, reading into things, and definitely misinterpreting and worrying. I think a lot of it has to do with this insecurities because I mean, I see, I see that energy here. It could be yours, Aries, or it could be your person's, but there are insecurities. They're really hidden though, because I know that this person always has to kind of save face, always has to, to act like everything is okay, even when it's not okay, because they're more of they like to show an alpha side, but inside there's a lot that this person worries about. That could be your energy or it could be your person who is this way and reading into things. Just important for you to be aware of as the month progresses. Because they could be the they could be the one who wants to think to move things along faster with you. I can see where it has taken a, a while. It has, but the reason behind that is because someone wants to make sure that they can offer security, that what they're bringing to the table matches what their person is bringing to them. So I wonder if someone feels intimidated by either the other person's position in life, how much money they make, because there is something here that all ties back to the insecurities it ties back to the insecurities and maybe one of the reasons why things have moved so slowly in the past it's not it's not for any negative reason things moving slowly it is because um wanting to ensure that things will be equal it's funny because at the bottom of both decks is so much just overthinking about things a lot of worry and then a lot of feeling like someone's really working themselves nonstop. Could be literally at work or school or whatever this is, because it, there's a lot of emphasis here on money, but it could also be the way that this person feels like they just have to put so much work into the connection, wondering where it's gonna go, what the results are gonna be. And maybe even 
because this person overthinks so much that I think that makes them try harder and harder and harder, but to the point where it's just very draining on them. I want to take a look at this Knight of Pentacles because I know that all of the energy is like di directed here because someone really feels like they want to know that things are moving forward, forward as far as the commitment. So let's take a look at that energy. It's like everything is on the right track, so there's really no need to worry. And I think whoever is so worried like this is going to see that kind of like it's in the universe's hands and everything is going to be okay. Because I see this energy of realizing that it's time to let go of things and then actually letting go of things, which is the most important part. There's a lot of forgiveness that's here. Um, and even the way that, because someone overthinks and, and what they tend to do is like replay conversations in their mind, almost in an effort to prevent something from happening to them again that hurt them. Like, um, if, this ha if this happens, I'm going to be prepared. I'm going to say this. This is, this is like the thoughts that goes on over and over and over in this person's mind. But I, I see um, like feeling more content when they start to see that things are moving forward. But uh, uh, unfortunately, throughout the month, they just might drive themselves to a worry unnecessarily because this is just like what this person tends to do. So I see them doing it throughout the month, but then finally realizing, kind of like relinquishing the control. And when they do, that's when they get a lot of peace of mind and like they're feel, they feel a lot better. They don't want to have to think about things from the past that hurt them so much because what they're doing is like projecting that onto this person that they're with now. To be fair, it could have been um, how this person treated you, but I, I see energy that's collected here, like over the years. This is not just um, based on this connection alone. It's not even all romantic things that they think about that hurt them before. But the beautiful thing is um, they are going to try and be more forgiving, even if it's with their person or themselves. So that's a beautiful thing. I do see a lot of emotion. I see someone who's working through their insecurities, working through their fears. But then again, there is um, this energy of, of trying so hard. So I just want someone to know that they don't need to overcompensate because I can see that things are moving forward, but I know that it may be hard for whoever is just overthinking so much to see what's right in front of them. So I say that so whoever this is that worries so much can take comfort and for you to know, Aries, because this could be how your person is with you. I want to look at this King of Pentacles because that's very interesting energy. The way that this person, yes, they have a lot of abundance around them. They're uh, very good looking, very smart, and, and they always show confidence, but it's like underneath that... There's a lot of hidden insecurities. The beautiful thing about it though, is that there's a lot of like ease that's coming in. Two of Pentacles is like, okay, my head's on straight. My heart knows what it wants. My head knows what it wants. And I feel like I'm okay. So what I can see happening for you guys throughout the month, either it's you or your person, but it will affect you ultimately if it is your person, is learning how to overcome insecurities, learning how to forgive, learning how to kind of let things happen organically, but that's not without its challenges because I do see here throughout the month, someone is going to like slip in and out of these phases. I can see Leo's energy here along with Libra. So you guys might have that in your chart or it could be dealing with someone that has that in their chart. But like it's due to the way this person worries so much unnecessarily because then that's when those thoughts go from positive to worry to fear to sadness to like woe is me. 
So you definitely have someone around you, Aries. If it's not yourself, that is very emotional this month. So just know that it might affect the dynamic between the two of you. Or if that's you, it, it you know will affect the dynamic between you and your person. Because what someone's like main issue here is wondering, um, where is this going? Are we moving forward? Are you serious about me? And I see the way that they put in so much work to try to kind of make their person move along faster. But the secret here is, is that it's already moving. It's already moving in. It's not stuck even if you feel like it is. It's moving in the right direction. So that's just important for you guys to know. So it's also, um, could also be like your person needing more comfort throughout the month, Aries. But you know what? There, someone is going to let their emotions get the best of them, but then they're going to catch themselves. I think it's the empathy that the other one will have and reassure them that, you know what, everything is fine between us. We're moving forward. Um, I feel like we have a balanced connection because I know that someone really worries about what they bring to the table, especially as far as money and what they can contribute. But this person could be how you feel, feels like everything is balanced between us. Like, I feel like you put in enough effort. What you do is good enough. I feel like you're a match for me. And, and so, you know what? Empathy is really important for you guys this month. And if it's not with yourself, and it's with your person and comforting them. But I know that, you know, you'll care enough about them to, to let them know how you feel. Let them know that you do feel like everything is balanced between the two of you. But they have a lot of insecurities. And I wonder if they're going to show that in different ways. Because I know how they try to hide it. Acting like everything is okay. Acting like nothing bothers them acting like they're always so in control, but this is someone who's not really in control of their emotions all the time, letting these thoughts swirl all around. So you, and a lot of this is based on what they bring to the table. So if it's your person, they're gonna put you through, it's unnecessary, but just be prepared for them to put you through like, it's like they're very emotional. So maybe like drama or like pettiness or misinterpreting things that can lead to misunderstandings. So you will have to comfort them. You will. You're going to have to let them know how you feel and that it's okay for them to open up, that they can let go of things from the past. And I do see that happening. There's a lot of energy here of things coming to a like getting closure and sleeping a whole lot better, not, you know, moving towards the direction that they don't have to keep replaying things in their head over and over. It does make me wonder what happened, if anything, between the two of you um, for someone to feel this way. Or is it that what I can see here, they're just carrying around a lot of things from the past, like year after year after year, whatever's gone on in their life. Even outside of romance, there is a true need for this person to let it go. Things are starting to move in that direction. But if it's, um, I will tell you that, that if someone lets their worry get the best of them, it's gonna plant this little seed. I, I think that your person is going to try to comfort, this person's gonna try and comfort the other one, but will it really work? Will they take the comfort or will they keep thinking? That's where like the crossroads comes in. So that's where the crossroads comes in and that's where the freedom and the choices that we make comes in because if this person takes it too far it's like this little seed is going to be planted and ultimately 
with with having to comfort this person all the time it is draining it is draining i mean it's not really fair to put all of this on someone especially when this person knows that they have issues that they need to heal from so yes to a certain extent your person should lift you up and comfort you but that's not solely their responsibility and they can't like fix fix things within you that are broken or for whoever this is Aries because you know this could be your person because I do see where it if it gets to be too much it's gonna plant this seed where the where the person who feels like they have to bear the brunt of the other one's emotions all the time is going to start to think very logically about this connection and think like, hmm, is this really right for me? Because this is really draining on me. I feel like I'm trying to show them that everything's okay, but they're not listening. I feel like, you know, I comfort them and then it does really nothing. They're going to start to think about how long they want to stay in this connection. So the what's really important here is for someone to really stop looking at the past. It's not like, oh, just get over it. It's not like that. But what I can see is it's like beating a dead horse at this point. Because Ten of, of Swords is like, it's done, it's complete, it's over. And if you keep thinking about it, nothing positive is going to come from that. It's not going to change the past. It's not going to change the future. But it can most certainly change the present. So it's, yes, empathy is important. But it's also important for someone to take responsibility for their actions, especially if they know they let their emotions get the best of them. Because at first, your person is going to try and comfort you. But underneath everything, a little seed is planted where they're going to start to look at things differently and wonder if like this is too much on them. Because to be fair, you know, someone can't put everything on this person because I see the way they always have to look back at the past all the time. So someone here definitely has to do some inner work. And it's just really being honest with themselves about things that they're holding on to and how they have insecurities and really try to overcompensate in other areas when it's really not necessary. Because what I can see here is things are moving forward with the two of you and your person feels like you are an equal to them. They feel like you're a match and they like everything that you bring to the table. So there's really no need for someone to stress themselves out like this. And if they keep doing that, it is it is ultimately going to affect the connection. Maybe not this month. But that seed is going to be planted. So someone really needs to try to keep their emotions in check and just refrain from lashing out, especially like from a place of pure emotion without any real logic or at least logic in this person's head. What makes sense to them? But that's coming from a very emotional place. So just know this, Aries, this could be what your person is putting you through throughout the month. Very emotional. Or if that's your energy, it's very important for you to just feel what you need to feel, but don't rely so much on your person to help heal you. Because this is something that needs to come from within. Finding that balance between your intellect and your emotion, only you can do that because you're in control of that. So that's what I can see. Challenges coming through for the emotions coming through for the relationship but it can result in challenges if it just continues on and on and on because you can take their word for it for whoever this is that needs the comfort of knowing that things are moving forward and your person is very happy with you feeling like you're their equal so a lot of this stems from uh overthinking misinterpreting reading into way too much looking back at the past too much because it's not helping anything and ultimately that will only drive a wedge between you and your person or you know aries that could be what your person is putting you through throughout the month so now that you know it if that's your person's energy you may feel even closer to them 
like, you know what? I, I know I know what this is that's on their mind. I know what they've gone through before and I'm gonna try to be more understanding. I'm gonna try to be there for them more. You know, that might spark something within you to even to show them that things are even more balanced than they realize because this is not something to take lightly. You know, all of these thoughts, very jagged, swirling around in this person's head about things that they've gone through. It's outside of romance and it's certainly outside of this connection. Like lots of things that they've gone through so empathy is important and this might knowing this about them might make you more empathetic towards them but for others of you i do see where it it might try your patience and kind of make you withdrawn withdrawn from this connection as more time passes so in a sense there are some warnings just for someone to really keep their behavior in check. I know it's hard for them to watch their emotions, but they have control over what they say and do and how they treat the other one. All right, Aries. So that is what I have for you guys. Just know that I send you all much love and light. I truly do wish you all the best when it comes to your connections and figuring out everything that you want to do. And if you are new to my channel and haven't already subscribed, please do. I would really appreciate it. I love you guys so much. Thank you for everything. And I will talk to you in about a week.